Hello and welcome to Interesting Science. In this video, we're going to talk about the recent discovery of whale fermions at Princeton University. This discovery has the potential to revolutionize our electronics. But before we get into that, let's first talk about what fermions actually are. Now, fermions are quantum particles with a spin of a half. So particles that we're familiar with are electrons. So they're fermions and they have a spin of one half. Now the equation that describes how these fermions work is called the Dirac equation. And the solutions of Dirac equation give us, um, tell us about the existence of fermions. So the electron has a solution to the Dirac equation and so too does the positron, the anti-electron. Now we know that both of these things exist in nature, so the Dirac equation has succeeded in predicting the existence of the positron and the electron. But other solutions to the Dirac equation also exist. In 1932, Hermann Weyl found a solution to the Dirac equation for a massless fermion. Now this was of particular interest to researchers because a massless fermion would be very, very useful in lots of applications. Now several decades later, um, the Princeton University group has detected a whale fermion, but it's not a fundamental particle, like the electron and positron. Instead, it's a quasi-particle made up of several different electrons inside of a material. And the way this whale fermion behaves is like it was predicted with zero mass. Now this has some interesting applications in the sense that a whale fermion, since it has zero mass, can travel at the speed of light. So we have faster movement of uh, electron-like things in your electronics. It also doesn't interact too much with atoms inside your material. So as electrons travel through your electronics, they get bumped around by the atoms along their way, which slows them down. However, the whale fermion doesn't bump around on these things so much, rather than just go straight through them, like it doesn't see the atoms there. So those are two immediate applications of the whale fermion that we can think of and they could apply very well to developing quantum computers, which would revolutionize um, computing in general. But as the leader of the group, Zahad Hassan at Princeton University told physicsworld.com, the physics of the whale fermion are so strange, there could be many things that arise from this particle that we're just not capable of imagining now. Now I think this sums up very well um, the research process. We discover something which um, has unique properties and we know it will be useful, but we just don't know how it could be useful. So I think the future for these whale fermions is very, very bright. Now the Princeton group is continuing the research into whale fermions by finding out what materials you can create these whale fermions in. And now the previous research by this group has been verified by an independent research group. So these whale fermions do exist and their application to electronics, we may not even know what that may be. So the future is looking pretty exciting for these whale fermions and perhaps for our future electronics. That's it for this video. In the description, there will be some links to articles about the whale fermion if you want to learn some more about this strange new quasi-particle. And if you like this video, please do leave a like and share it among your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.